welcome back to another Mailbox Goodies. I'm Aziza and I have some stuff here to show you. The stuff that I have is a whole bunch of funness, like fun, wait, fun things. Um, these have come all the way from Hawaii from Hippo Noto. Wait, I got this. There's this. Um, wait, there's the washi tape. So, um, sorry about that. That was weird. This is from Hippo Noto of Squishy Ink of Crystal. And um, I will include links below so you can check all this stuff out. Want to show you some mailbox goodies. We'll do a, like some writing and just like check out how everything looks. But let's show you what it is. Now, Hippo Noto is a Tomoe River notebook, a giant Tomoe River notebook. And it originally launched on Kickstarter and there were... Um, there were a couple delays because of the quality control. Um, Crystal was trying to be certain that the quality was what she wanted. So there were some delays with that. And I think cha like changing suppliers or something as well as um, the, the minimum order had to go up. So the, there were late pledges that were opened up so you could buy in a little bit later. Anyway, long story short, there are fabulous notebooks available to us. So the Hippo Noto, it, um, I have a review on my blog of the Kickstarter era, like the original, and it has a lot of um, like, like love and story to it that I appreciate it. I appreciate. So if you want, you can check out that review. I can include a link below as well. You could also just go to my, uh, my blog, which is gourmetpens.com and look at the paper stationary office supplies, accessories page, and you will find all sorts of things there. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. It's, it's, it's pretty warm in here. There's a heat wave and it's, my brain is a little fried. So I do have my beverage, so maybe I should have some. Okay, ah, refreshing. The Hippo Noto Notebook. It is shipped, shrink-wrapped. I have opened it because I didn't want to struggle with the shrink-wrap on camera and look like an idiot. So I've already opened it. It is a cardboard box. It has the cute little Hippo Noto logo and it is like gold foiled on there. The notebook does slide out without much issue, which is nice. Now it came with, first it came with a blotting sheet and a um, what is this called? A, a pen loop. Sorry, an elastic pen loop. That's pretty cool. I actually didn't even know that. I also received the, uh, I think this is A5. Yes. This is a, uh, a writing board that you put under your page to give you a bit of a firmer surface. It's super cute though. It has the little logo on it. I like it. It's kind of clear. Um, there are not a whole, like, I don't really have a lot of these and there's not a whole lot of options out there. So I like this one. Now the notebook itself is the brown Hippo Noto. I am brown. Ah. Super cute again. It's got the logo, silver foiled. It is giant. This is 500 pages of 68 gram Tomoe River paper. Now you can, uh, oh wait, I wrote this down um, because I wanted to get the prices right. Okay, this one has ivory paper. Let me just show you. It, you probably won't be able to tell unless it's compared to white because Tomoe River also comes in white. Now these are dot grid. The notebook has an elastic closure. It has purple end papers, which match the elastic closure and also match the pen loop. Sorry, there is a back pocket on the back cover. I almost never use back pockets, but I saw that um, Crystal posted a picture on the, on the purchase page of putting a bunch of ink swabs in there. And I have a lot of ink swabs. So I might start using the back pocket. Two satin bookmarks, which match the theme and a fabulous notebook that actually lies flat. So without like cracking the spine, it just opens, it lies flat, pretty exciting. So what we are going to do is do a quick bit of writing on it. I can already tell you that Tomoe River is very fountain pen friendly, but we can take a look at it and see how we feel about it in use. Now, there are two more things. 
because the ivory Kickstarter Hipponoto Tomori River ivory paper thing was delayed, those who had pledged for that also received an adorable little pocket notebook that says, I survi survived the ivory hippo delay. That's pretty cute. That's a really nice thoughtful touch, I think, because it was a pretty long wait, and um, I just think that's really, that's really nice of um, Hippo Noto to, you know, throw in an extra for those of you who have pledged. There's always risks with Kickstarter, there's always delays and stuff, but that's just really awesome. That's just nice customer service. Now, the other thing, there are two more things. Um, they have also designed their own washi tape. So I know there's lots of washi tape out there, but if you like hippos and adorable colors, this is a possibility. Now, I know it looks really confusing on the roll. I'll put a little piece on the page when we go down below to look at the writing, but that's pretty cute. The roll is three US dollars. The hippo noto is 40 US dollars. And I believe there is free shipping in the US over $55. So, but like $40 for a 500 pages of Tomori River, mm, no problems there. I think that's great. Another thing, uh, Hipponoto is located in Hawaii. So they have created a very gorgeous thing. This is, this was commissioned by, for, commissioned for Hipponoto and it is made by Quasi Inc. in Poland. So it is called Hawaii Blue. Now we will, I'll do a full review of this. I have a swab, I have it in a pen, so we'll just do a quick writing sample. That's what we're going to use to test out this paper. And um, let's take a look at it. Comes in a box. They have changed their boxes. These are shinier and thinner, and I think they are a little bit nicer than the old style boxes. I already unwrapped the bottle. Quasi ships their inks um, plastic wrapped, like with saran wrap, like, like you know, that stuff. Pellicula, plastique, whatever it's called. Um, to prevent or reduce the chance of leakage if it should happen. I, I tend to prefer less plastic, but I also understand that um, if 60 mils of ink happens to leak out, that could be quite disastrous. This was fine. I've actually never had any other bottles leak, so maybe it is working. Maybe the plastic is working well. They are dark bottles to protect your ink from UV degradation. And I'm not going to show you the color. We are going to switch camera angles and I will show you the swab that I have. And I, as I said, I already have it inked. It's already in a pen. We're going to use that pen and ink to test the paper. So thank you for joining me so far. Um, I hope you're excited about this because I am quite excited about this. Thank you to Hipponoto Squishy Ink Crystal for sending all this stuff for me to check out. And um, I'll see you in a minute. Bye-bye. Hello. Welcome back to... Uh, this video where I'm doing more stuff with things. Okay, let's look at, let's do the ink first because we will be writing in the Tomori River notebook with this ink. So it is, as I said, Hawaii blue. I don't need to open it. Actually, I'm gonna open it. You've already seen it, but um, Hawaii blue. They, I like that Quasi puts the swab on the bottle. That must take a tremendous amount of time for them, but I like it, it's really handy. There we go in the bottle. So let's move this stuff out of the way for a second and I will just show you. Here's the swab I have created. Um, quasi Hawaii blue, beautiful color. It has a bit of sheen. I would say like medium amount of sheen with normal-ish writing, but this is the kind of blue I like. I love saturated, vibrant, rich blues. So that's sort of up my alley if not completely. Here's just a couple comparisons. We've got Quasi Turquoise. Um, Quasi does like a boatload of blues. So um, here you could just take a look at a few. Blue, black, um, Azure number five, Azure number four, Iron Gall blue number five, um, Baltic Memories, Azure number one, Walkover Vistula, uh, here's an old one, Schaefer Peacock Blue. <sighs> Look at that, so gorgeous. Um, here's a couple darker ones, Iron Gall Blue, um, Iron Gall Blue, Iron Gall Blue. These are all much darker because they're Iron Galls and Blue Blacks. Um, 
uh, Iron Gall Turquoise. Here's Robert Oster's Shake and Shimmy Blue Moon. It has like a similar base, but with shimmer. Blackstone Scented Blue Gum. Robert Oster Great Southern Ocean. Noodler's Navy. I'm gonna move these out of the way. Waterman Mysterious Blue. Uh, Bunga Box Hatsukoi. Uh, Quasi Azure Number Two. Uh, Kobe Shioya Shio Blue. Kobe Hatoba Pure Blue. Um, Pen BBS Claude Monet, Robert Oster Fire and Ice, Krishna Moonview. Oh, this is also a wildly blue color. Love it. Uh, Monteverde Caribbean Blue, uh, Robert Oster Australian Sky Blue, Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue, and Giobain Bleu Pervenche. So, you know, I, I didn't even take out all my blues, but this one is. Just beautiful. I really like it. I think it's a gorgeous color. Um, I've never been to Hawaii, but it looks stunning. And, you know, it's like a little bit of paradise, I'm sure. I'm sure it's the water is just to die for. So I love that it's called Hawaii Blue. I love this color. So there's that. Um, next, we have the Hipponoto Notebook. And I'm not going to show you all the accessories again because you've already seen it. First thing we're going to do is open the notebook. We are going to just put down a piece of the washi just so we can see the design. It looks pretty cute. So, so you can see it if you're interested. That's adorable. Little hippos, little hearts. Oh my goodness. Adorable. Now, the pen I have is the Franklin Christoph Model 66. I have it loaded up with a Regalia Writing Labs Trilogy nib, and it is inked with Quasi Hawaii Blue. So let's just take a look at the ink as well as the paper at the same time, because it is Tomoe River. It is definitely fountain pen friendly. But, you know, just to do something fun, we could just do this on, on camera, right? Like, why not Hawaii Blue? The pen, as I said, is a Franklin Kristoff. Sorry, I know I'm blocking Frank Kristoff. This is a Model 66. The nib is a, sorry, Regalia... Writing Labs. I'm just changing it up just to show the nib because it's fun. Um, this is a trilogy. This nib is handmade by Ralph Reyes and it's so cool. All right. So there we go. Lovely. Beautiful color. I think it's really nice. Uh, it's just, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue, and I really like it. And I have a feeling this is going to be one of my fast favorites. Now, Quasi inks have a bit of a scent to them. Um, I believe it's like the phenols they use or something, but it, some people say it smells like vanilla. Personally, I don't care for the smell, but what I will say about this bottle is it doesn't smell as strong as the other ones I have. So I'm super happy about that. If smells bother you, this one might be okay for you. It also might be totally worth the color because that is absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, backside, low show through, no bleed through whatsoever, even with such a super wet writer. So there you go. Uh, that pretty much wraps this up. Hopefully you found this useful. Thank you so much again to uh, Squishy Ink, aka Hippo Noto, aka Crystal, for sending the stuff for me to check out. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy this, please like and subscribe. I would be so grateful for your support. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And that's everything. We will see you next time. Bye! That was supposed to be a wave. Bye!